Hi everyone, my name is Matthew and today I'm going to give a brief overview of the Grade Control Optimizer which is a new tool in Vulkan for generating grade control polygons directly from a grade control block model. So I got a block model here and he's got a couple of different variables in it and we're going to just take a look at what our best classification would be based on economic information. So there's three variables underneath this that uh, say what the revenue is for our three different possible classifications. So these orange blocks have the highest mill revenue, so we'd like to send them to the mill. The purple blocks have a higher leach revenue, we'd like to send those to the leach, and the pink blocks have the highest dump revenue, so we'd like to send those to the dump. Of course, this classification that we have on the screen right here is a little bit messy. It's not exactly mineable. We're not going to be sending individual blocks that are surrounded by other blocks to a particular destination unless that makes sense. That doesn't satisfy our mining width. So we're going to use the grade control optimizer to clean up this result optimally based on that economic value which we took a look at. So I can load up the grade control optimizer here. I'm going to specify some spec file and a new scenario. And then I'll select that block model. I'm going to use a particular elevation. Like I said, we're going to use economic information to make these changes, but you could also use some classifications based on, uh, you know, cutoffs or something like that. If you only had the one variable and you didn't have your economic information coded into your block model. So that's a good alternative. The economic value here, we need to specify what our different possible destinations are. So we had three, right? The mill, leach, and dump. So we had three variables for that, mill revenue, leach revenue, and dump revenue. And then we can also specify a constraint, which can be used to kind of limit the area that we're going to operate in, as well as to say, I don't want, this block is not allowed to go to the mill, or something like that. Then we get into the optimization. We need to specify what our mining width looks like. For this example, let's just use a little 3x3 three three mining width. Uh, we could also use something more custom if we wanted to. We're going to save that result into a new variable, which I'll just call D3x3, uh, which the optimizer is going to create. Now we could specify some block selection if we had to, and we can choose some more advanced parameters, for example, what optimization engine we want to use. Uh, for this example, I'm just going to use the precise engine. Even though it takes a little bit longer, it gives us the literal optimal result where every block has been uh, set to the best destination to satisfy that. It does take a little bit longer, so we're going to have to give it a second. And we should just be, yep, there we go. All right, so let's take a look at the results that we got there. So I'm going to, instead of looking at that original baseline classification, look at the new variable which it created. And there we go. So that's showing uh, now every block satisfies a little 3x3 three three mining with element around it. And we didn't sacrifice that much value when we made that classification. Okay, so now the next step is to generate some polygons from this result. So for that, I'm going to use the second option in the grade control optimizer here. And I'm going to specify a spec file and scenario, select our block model and that resultant variable that we got there. Let's use a color scheme so that it shows up in a condition. I'm just going to use that one based on the constraint. And here we got some polygon options, uh, which, you know, are a little bit hard to understand, but we can hit preview to get a picture of them. And I'm just going to save this first and come out here and remove that so we can get a better look at those polygons that we're generating. So let me preview that up again. Okay, so here's our polygons which it generated. And... Uh, if we want to have slightly longer segments, let's say, and a couple less vertices on those polygons just so that they're easier to stake in the field, we can up our node cost here. So I'm going to up that to 5, and we can see that it's kind of straightened those things out a bit more, and hey, maybe we're good to go with that. So I can hit save. Oh, let me just specify that output layer. Um, I'll just save that into poly, I guess. And then it's uh, saved these into a new layer in our database, and they're flagged and colored based on what we've specified. And we can go ahead and modify these however we want, or we can tie these into our existing grade control process with something like create grade blocks. The value of the grade control optimizer here is in that it allows you to try out a lot of different scenarios very quickly, and because of those executables, uh, it can be scripted uh, really easily. 
Okay, so thanks, thanks for watching, and uh, if you have any questions, feel free to contact your nearest MapTech office. All right, thanks very much.